Welcome to episode 25. <laughs> you want to say it with me? Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, okay ready? Go. One. Say, say, welcome to episode 25. Ready? Welcome to episode 25 of Making a House at Home. Good job, girls. To us, home is all about family and our heritage is a big part of who we are. Our goal is to not only engrave our family history into our children's hearts, but into the walls of our new home during our biggest adventure yet. Join us as we travel back to our roots to seek inspiration, discover cultures that are in our blood, and source products to make our new house a We home. have so much to update you guys, both with the interior and exterior of the house. This side of our house has just been like this steep slope for so long. Now we're so excited because we have stairs. Let's go down the steps for the first time. Or oh, still use the hill. So here we'll have like white roses and then this will be all grass until the fence. The kids can actually go down the steps or they can go sledding down this part. I just can't do it without you. I just can't do it without you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is where we're gonna have a garden. Vegetable garden, salsa garden, maybe salsa, some, maybe some, fruit. <laughs> some jalapenos and tomatoes. So we leveled this part out so we could put our garden boxes right here. A ton of construction is going on, but we're going to have so that we have the retaining walls here. There's two of them, and then we'll have grass going down here that they can also sled down, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe a trampoline right there, which would be super fun. We have the lighting now. You got your lighting? Come show me, show me, show me. Let me see. What? Oh, a light switch! <laughs> we just came into the basement first and we have so much to share with you guys. As far as lighting is concerned, we have a lot of it that has showed up, but we will be waiting to link it in the final reveal. So I know a lot of you are gonna have questions about lighting. It's coming, we'll link everything very soon. First off, okay, first off is the gym. So we've actually got the flooring in, you haven't seen that yet. It's, it's, dirty right it's now. messy as I'll get out, Maybe but it's in. We go in. But this is super nice, so if you have your waist and you drop it, it won't damage the ground. Also, and then we just casually passed by. We decided to stain all the doors in the basement and upstairs. Now you're locked in there. And then we got our railings in, which I'm so happy with the color because it's not like black but it's not nickel, it's kind of in between. Yeah, that's nice. Super happy with it. And then our open stair treads are all stained. We're gonna have carpet coming down the middle, like a runner. We don't wanna worry about the kids and their socks or anything just slipping down onto more hardwood. So if there's a runner down the middle, less likely to fall downstairs. This kitchenette is so awesome. We went dark in here. And we actually got like, so the base of the sink is black and then the faucet is also black. So we These just wanted to go. These will switch out probably for black yeah. and painted. So this will be a microwave slash oven, they did uh, get garbage. Yeah. They said it's an easy slip in, screw in, it's done. But yeah, microwave. Sink and then future fridge when we have the budget. <laughs> While the girls are playing in the little playroom, we're gonna head upstairs and show you guys what's going on up here. Okay, so moving right. upstairs, we it's got nice our upstairs. stained doors. Uh, these, these ones are my favorite doors. I think they I'm are honest. too, yeah. We're not gonna show too much of the inside of the office because it is not close to being done. More to come. I just can't do it without you. Okay, here come the kitchen pendants that I'm married to more than any other light in the house, I think. Oh, they are big! Oh my gosh, I love them. This is the room that I feel like has changed the most since we were last done an update. <laughs> First off, what is this? <laughs> so this is the base. They're gonna put on the actual plaster that looks like concrete probably later today. Um, I can't wait to show you what it looks like. This is the, the sample. This is what it's gonna look like. So that is gonna be the same texture. They've got like a, what do they call it? Yeah, like a got, motion to it? It's got movement. In movement, it. that's the word they use. <laughs> it's got that nice movement and different color, like variations there. Yeah. And so that's what it will look like up this, which I'm so hyped about. I'm so excited. Even just the, seeing it with this first base on it, 
I don't know, I just made it really come to life as far as like the color separation because before it's just all been white. And now you can actually really see the shape of the fireplace. I'm so excited to see this all come together. This and also the kitchen backsplash, they're just something that I'm like most excited about in this entire house. Oh, and then behind me, ta-da! It's covered, but you can see you got the open stair treads. Stained. We had a heart attack coming here a couple weeks ago and they looked like they were painted white. Brad's like, uh, they know we're not painting them, right? But it's, it was just like the, uh, what, like the prep stain. The primer. It was the primer, yeah. They probably think we're well annoying, but it's okay because we're making sure everything is gonna be as we expect. And then also, um, the finishing date of all this is coming up really, really quick. And so we're just making sure that we're not doing any like setbacks or stuff like that. So they had to try and match the floor as close as possible. And so in order to do that, they had to put that primer that made it kind of look like it had this, I don't know, this distinct look to it, which matched our floors. And they did amazing. Like it honestly looks super it close. It matches so well. So I'm so excited because this concrete finish is not only going here, but ah, in the kitchen, look how much it changed it. And the beams are all stained. We had a little episode with the lighting in here. Um, we hung them a little too wide. They were like almost hanging off of the edge. So I felt so bad having them have to fix it because we had to bring in new beadboard, but they've been amazing and making everything perfect for us, which we appreciate. I'm so excited about the concrete because it just brings a rustic finish into our kitchen. It's like a modern rustic. It's not so much of like that Tuscan yeah. But rustic. it is like that video that if you saw in Norway, I mean that house had a ton of that kind of natural feel to it. Come on in. Is this amazing or what? This is straight. Brad Haley vibes right here. And so we wanted to implement that into this house and I think it is, I mean, it's not even finished yet. Yeah. Nigel's hiding in the corner over there somewhere, <laughs> but yeah, he, he's a true artist. <laughs> this is just like step one, so I'm really excited to see it when it's finished. Can't wait to show you all. <laughs> the toilets are in though. Oh, we got toilets. Finally. <laughs> I heard that you like, when you get a brand new toilet, you're supposed to eat some cereal out of it because that's the only time you can. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> got our sinks. They got a. So, yeah, they got cut through so this sits down. <laughs> All in all, it's looking amazing. Everything is like, I mean, we have T minus what now? Uh, it's like a week and a day until our final walkthrough. So, right now, we have everyone just storming in and doing all. We've got the electricians, we've got. I mean, the finished carpentry, everyone just coming in and doing everything now. So it's super fun and every day it's changing that much more. There's been such a fun energy out here at the house, but I feel like every time we've come out, we haven't really been able to film because we're just being asked a million questions and like being pulled in different directions, like, like where to hang lights. And I don't know, just so many different things, looking at different samples. Um, so yeah, today's kind of nice because it's a little bit quieter in here so that we can film. And then here in the mud room, we're basically done here. We have one little thing they need to fix, which is there's a little ding out the back there. But I honestly feel like we've been doing like a final walkthrough every week. Yeah. Our builder's been awesome about meeting us out here, making sure everything is exactly how it was planned to be. And yeah, I feel like it'll, I mean, we'll still have the blue tape thing, but I don't think it'll be nearly as intense. No, as we we'll just have to raise an arch or two. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Go. Oh my gosh, this set. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! It's our last set of art. <laughs> Stain chores going into the master bath. Just wanted to show the rest of the doors and what the final color and grain looks like. We wanted them to not be super dark, or like the trendy light wood. We just wanted them to be in between and I'm super happy how they turned out. We watched them do, I mean, creating these first off and yeah. this bend in the door is just so beautiful. And then we watched them putting on the stain. And it was so cute because when they were staining the doors, Lucy was watching and then they allowed Lucy to go up and stain the doors herself. <laughs> Good job, Lucy. What are you saying? Hey, but look what arrived! Our bathtub! Oh my goodness. And I can fit it. in it. <laughs> and the shower. And the rain head. 
This is, Arrived. this is the only thing I really wanted. This was Brad's one request for this house. You happy? I'm, I'm super happy. I'm just really taking a shower. I haven't taken a shower for like two months just for this. <laughs> and then in here, we got our toilet and Brad was adamant about putting Look. a plug back here and I was kind of like, eh. Why do you need a plug by a toilet? Well, I'll tell you. Japanese toilet. The best Japanese toilets in the world. Japanese toilet. Kohler actually just came out with one, so you just detach all of this. Yeah, the C. Yeah, we just found it. And then um, it has like a little wireless touchpad on the side. Why but... do you need it? It's got heated water. It heats up your bum. It, <laughs> it dries you off. The bidet and everything as well. It probably plays sounds. It does. If it's it, like the ones in Japan, it <laughs> opens up and greets you as you walk up to it. I don't think it has that, but it does have night mode. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it below just so you guys can have a good laugh. It's definitely not something we're going to have right when we move in, and maybe not even for like ten years. But I'm just when? cracking up that Brad put the, the electrical in there for it. When we do get it, though, you guys will know how excited we are. We can all celebrate together. Hey, check it out. We got the bathtub. This is where you guys are gonna be playing. <laughs> Does it flush? Oh, it's no water. No water's in it yet. Wait, that's how you flush the toilet. Yeah, it's pretty hard. cool, huh? Man, you guys are so intrigued with the toilet. Are you excited to be playing in that playroom yeah. so soon? Yeah. Greta. For reals? Are you gonna blink? <laughs> hey. <laughs> What do you want to show everyone? What's the most favorite part about the house right now? Uh, come with me. I just can get dirty. That can get dirty. Hey, do you want to? I wasn't planning on showing the your guys' bedroom paint, but maybe we should. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah? Do you want to show Let's them? Let's go. Guys, come up here for the paint. What color is it? Okay, let's go in. What color is it? Guess. Everyone guess in the comments. What color is their room? Three, two, two one. one. Whoa! Okay, cool. Okay. Do you guys remember our drawings? Look. There's like a little hand right there. Oh, they kind of erased it. There's your heart right there. <laughs> what about your bathroom? Do you want to show us your bathroom? Yeah, but I'm not playing. Can't wait. Oh, are you okay? What in the heck? Oh my gosh, the first light. We got electricity. Is it so slippery? You guys got a toilet up here too. It's Oh my gosh, it's feeling like a bathroom! Uh, Daddy! Where are you gonna be washing your hands, Luz? Wait, I don't see you. Look, this is where you're gonna be brushing your teeth. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have turned that off. <laughs> don't let us in the house. Uh oh. I can do pretend to You can pretend to wash your hands. Don't really turn it on. Oh my gosh. Nice, Greta. I thought it was gonna turn on. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that was a stinky bomb. We just put in our concrete today, so we're gonna stamp our hands in. Oh. No, into it. Did you just fall in a little bit? <laughs> oh, it's a <laughs> Of course that would help. Hey, ready? Here hey here goes Daddy. <laughs> there we go. Nice, babe. Okay, there it is. All right, Mommy's handprint, here we go. Three, two, one. Cricket fingers and all. <laughs> have to get it in. Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, so what we do is this. First we get the thumb. And then we get that finger. Ow, ow, ow. And then we get this finger. Ow, ow. Get around this. Three, two, one. Hey, Greta. There's a little one. Greta's a little nervous, so but she's being so brave. Little, little. Little, little, and then this one. Ready? Now push down really hard. Push it Three, down, Greta. Two, one, lift. Give me 
high five with your messy hand. With the messy one, yeah. Okay, that is a wrap for today's video. Subscribe for your video. What? Subscribe for your video. Bye. <laughs> Bye.